اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وما ارسلنا کا اللہ کافت للناس بشیرا و نظیرا ولیکن اکثر الناس لا يعلمون صدق اللہ صدق اللہ من العظیم مستر چیرمن برزن سسٹرز I have read to you a verse from Surah Safa, verse number 28. And as I had explained to you previously, how to find this chapter and this verse from the Holy Quran that is available to you from here, as our chairman had announced again and again, seven rands fifty each or two for ten rands. It's a bargain of a lifetime, I assure you. 2,000 pages for five rands each if you buy two. But now, at the end of this volume is a very comprehensive index. And if you open that index under S, you'll find Safa. It will be in italics. Every surah, name of the surah, under whatever the name, under that letter, al alphabet, you'll find it in italics is the name of the surah. And it will tell you is Surah Saba is 34. So you look for chapter 34, Surah is chapter, and look for verse 28, and you'll find this verse I have just read to you. The meaning of that is, Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةَ لِلنَّاسِ said, we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except for the whole of mankind. Kafatal linnasi, Bashiron as a giver of glad tidings, wa naziron and as a warner. Walakin aksar and nasi But the bulk of mankind, they still do not know. That is the meaning of the verse I have read to you. With regards to the subject, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the greatest. You see, it is very easy for one to elevate, to praise his hero, his saint, his imam, his prophet. Very easy to idolize our great men. Very easy. And we all have a tendency to do that, whether Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jew. That whom do you esteem to be the greatest person? So each will give his hero according to his knowledge and experience. I had an occasion to take a Portuguese couple around the mosque in Durban. I happened to be one of the guides to the Juma Masjid Durban and it attracts a lot of visitors. So we take them around, explain to them what goes on, and we give them free literature. But talking to this Portuguese couple, the Portuguese gentleman, somehow the subject arose, and he was telling me that the greatest man that ever lived was Dr. Salazar. Have you heard of him? Dr. Salazar. Bulk of the people, they never heard the name, Dr. Salazar. But you can't take exception to his claim because he only knows Dr. Salazar. Can you see? To him, Portuguese gentleman, he must have done great work for his nation. He is the greatest man that ever lived, Dr. Salazar. So it's quite easy for one to idolize one's own hero. But if the tribute, the praise, the testimony comes from the opposite camp, that would be testimony indeed. We praise our Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Christian praises Jesus Christ, the Hindu praises Rama and Krishna. It's natural. But if the enemy praises your hero, then that is real praise indeed. You agree? Coming from the enemy. And in that regard, a book has just been published in America. The title of that book is the hundred. See this book? Quite an expensive book. The hundred. 
alternatively described as the top 100 or the greatest 100 in history. The author is a certain Michael H. Hart, described as an astronomer and a mathematician. This American, he goes out of his way to search in history for the 100 most influential men from Adam alayhi salam, from Adam, up to current times. And he gives us a list of those 100 most influential men according to his reasoning. He gives reasons behind every person that he chooses. Why he chose this number one, and why he chose that number 30, and why he chose that number 100, he gives you reasons. And the amazing thing about his list is this, that number one on his list, you can guess, is Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number one, Muhammad. An American in America, writing a book which retails in America for $12.50, 572 pages. Who will buy his book? the 200 million nominal Christians of America or the 6 million Jews, not Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, or Arabs. Oh, they'll buy one here, one there, but the bulk of his customers will be the Americans. The market is the American market, Christians and Jews. And he's telling them that Muhammad, the member of their opposition, is the first man, the greatest man, most influential man in history. And the shocking thing about his list is this, that his own Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is number three. His own Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is number three, not even number two. And he gives his reasons for that also. He said, you see, the honor for Christianity, or whatever it is, is to be divided between Paul and Christ. And he said that the real founder of Christianity is not Jesus Christ is Saint Paul. 